Are you a Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, Satanic cult? Are you puzzled on how you're going to do nofap since you plan on saving yourself for marriage? You're probably like, bruh, 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 bruh. Well, no need for frustrations, my friend. Fearless Dan has the solution for you. Dot MP4. What is good, my brother? Fearless Dan here, and there's two solutions I'm going to present to you today. Since you're probably very young and are filled with testosterone, you're going to be getting some pretty strong urges. That being said, if you consider yourself religious, yet open-minded, what I would encourage you to do is the following. Your goal is obviously to not sleep around, not do anything casual, and basically lock your private parts from others till you find the most suitable partner. So that should always be something you value and that should be part of your purpose as to why you want to make this happen. If you expect that from your partner, then it's only fair that you do that as well. First and foremost, what you've got to do is quit PMO and stop watching adult content. That is simply going to load up your brain with unnecessary BS that is not healthy, that is far from what real world activities are like, and it's actually going to promote you to want to go sleep around and experience all these crazy things. What I would recommend is to then only commit to fapping once every two weeks. You basically mark out on your calendar your fap day, and at the end of the night, on a weekend, you make sure you have no more responsibilities when you choose to do it. You jump on your bed or in the shower and use a very soft grip and fap without actually doing PMO or watching any wicked images. Now, I know some of you are gonna jolt back. You're already just like, bro, are you serious? You're recommending fapping, like what? But you have to understand that this is the most realistic approach for most guys as they can hardly even go a week, let alone do a full three months. So this is perfect for guys who are new to the game or guys who have been struggling with it for a very long time, especially if you're religious but not so hardcore. This is the perfect way that for you to stay true to saving yourself for marriage, but also keeping, you know, keeping that sex drive in check so you don't act impulsive on it and go sleep around one weekend or go to a party and then because you're so like horny, you just like end up drinking, doing this, doing that because you're just being overruled by this energy and you end up sleeping with a girl who you regret the following morning. So this is a lot easier way for a young dude to stay true to saving himself for marriage, but also uh, keeping his, his, his drive in check so that it doesn't drive him insane, all right? Now, obviously, that isn't the only solution. There is no perfect path. There's many solutions. And what we're going to get into next is uh, what you should transition into. So as a beginner, once again, fapping once every two weeks, but quitting PMO and porn upright and then transition into a pure celibate state once it becomes easier to do that. And for you guys out there who are criticizing me and aren't cool with fapping at all, who don't want to do any MO and who want to retain their life force, here's what I would recommend you do. Start practicing a meditation that teaches you how to clear your mind. That's going to help you when you get urges. And urges only become more potent as your drive builds up. Journal this phrase every day twice per day. I do not fap. I do not watch porn. Try to spend as little time possible alone. If you work online, take your laptop to your living room or go to a library to work for most of the day. Try to socialize all of your tasks. It's much harder to get urges and act on them when you're around people. And create some sort of contract to abstain till marriage. Sign it, laminate it, put it in your room, make it real. And once again, the purpose is important. Why are you holding off till marriage? You need to be able to answer it like that. Like you need to have a 2000 word essay ready in your brain when I ask you that question. It's, it's got to be able to go right on the fly. Otherwise, no purpose, no oomph, no power behind what you're doing. You're going to fail over and over and over and over. So that's got to be on point and you have to research that for yourself and understand it and see how it relates to who you and who you are. So that's everything I have for you today. By the way, since we're talking about no fap, since we're talking about celibacy, I actually have a podcast to my brother's five year no fap streak. He did two years hard mode and now he's five years plus not watching porn or fapping. 
And uh, it's a snippet from one, the full length podcast, but there's still a ton of value that we share here. You know, what he went through when he was younger, lessons that he's learned, his final thoughts. So it's completely free. I'm not going to charge you a penny for it. You can check out the link down in the description. You can get instant access to that in 10 seconds or less. So thank you very much for watching. Be sure to smash up the like, hit subscribe, and I'm going to see you next time. Peace out. Long nose like Pinocchio Telling lies, dirty ass for show Spending nights nice gripping grain tape for Selling dimes for the gloss that I mow You've been acting so foolish Call you Peter Pan Cause you drooling like Cupid You won't understand what it took to get the food dish Stacking all my bands in my hands, I'm Jewish Man, I my fucking hands in a fountain So much fucking water dripping down from the mountain my like a body, it's astounding Talk a lot of shit, me and Daniel ain't about it nah. I'm never gonna give up cause my mama never got to act On her own ambitions and her show me how to find my